Okay, CS-235, Lab 2. This is a teaser to show what the students will be building uh, first in SOLIDWORKS and then in the real world for Lab 2. So what this is, is just a standard roll, pitch, roll, robot wrist. They're only actuating the last pitch and roll. If we were going to do um, the first roll, we'd just put the axis through the center all the way up through the center of the differential so it would roll like this. So first roll, and then pitch, and then the last roll. And we've got pretty big uh, workspace, so the pitch is a little bit over 180 degrees. And then, of course, the last roll is infinite. And the way we're doing this is with a friction differential. So we have two different roller blade wheels that get uh, preloaded against this driven plate right here via the screw. So this screw goes through the differential block and taps into this Delrin nut. Now keep in mind, all of this is laser cut. There's no 3D printing, no machining. So basically, as we tighten the screw, this driven plate gets squished against the roller blade wheels to increase the torque transfer. And then if we loosen this nut, the plate comes off of the roller blade wheels and we can transfer less torque. So you can set the slip torque for the safety of your mechanism. And then the differential block is fit together, uh, sort of like old school Chinese furniture with an order of assembly. So we put the top plate and then the side plates, and then these back end plates, um, and the wedging action from the divergence of the laser beam keeps it all together. And then we're driving each uh, roller blade wheel here with uh, timing belts. These are HTD timing belts, you can see there. Um, and we have a two to one gear reduction. This is uh, 30 teeth and 60 teeth. And then we're using unflanged bearings here as idlers to tension the belt. We're doing it on the back, non-toothed side, inside, so that we wrap the belt around the pulleys to get more teeth engagement and torque transfer. And then um, we have the idlers on the slot so that we can tension the belt and adjust the tension as we need. And also it helps in assembly. Uh, and then in terms of actually transferring torque, we have a set screw here, just a little laser cut set screw mechanism that um, screws into a flat in the shaft. And then we have the exact same thing on uh, this knob here, um, which uh, attaches that knob rigidly to the shaft. So in terms of driving it, the way this works is if you spin both wheels together at the same time in the same direction, then we get pure pitch, like that. Then if you spin them in opposite directions at the same time, then we get pure roll. And then of course we can do some combination coupled motion. And then the way the overall skeleton fits together is again sort of interlocking um, sides, these little flanges here. With the right order of assembly, it fits together very, very rigidly. And then uh, it's very cheap and simple to do. All laser cut. So uh, there you have it. This is lab two for a roll, pitch, roll, robot wrist with a friction differential. And um, what's really nice is you can actually hold this rigidly and um, it's a lot of torque transfer, but if you overdrive it, it will slip without hurting anything. So you're not going to actually break your mechanism. There you go.